On December 1st, the Supreme Court heard oral arguments in one of the most pivotal abortion cases in our lifetime. These female lawmakers traveled to Washington, D.C. to share why the Americans who elected them want Roe v. Wade overturned. My name is Liz Brown. I'm state senator from Indiana. And if Roe v. Wade were overturned, our state would be a state that protects life and empowers women. Stacey Guerin, Senator, Maine. We will be putting in legislation to protect the babies we see in pregnancy sonograms. So I'm Christina Rogner. I'm a state senator from the great state of Ohio. And if Roe versus Wade is overturned, Ohio is a pro-life state. I'm State Representative Kathy Rapp from the great state of Pennsylvania. If uh, the decision is favorable today, we have legislation to follow up that matches uh, the Mississippi case. Unfortunately, we have a Democrat governor, so unless we could overturn his veto, uh, and, and hoping that next time around, we'll have a, a pro-life governor. Hi, I'm Mary Elizabeth Coleman. I'm a state rep from Missouri, and Missouri is a pro-life state. We have passed broad protections, and if today's opinion is favorable, um, when it comes out in July, we will be an abortion-free state in the state of Missouri. Hi, my name is Nancy Bartow, state senator from Arizona. If today the Supreme Court does what it should do, Arizona is going to benefit in so many ways. More babies will be, be saved, women's lives will be saved, and it'll be a much kinder and gentler Arizona. We have on the books a, a standing law that outlaws abortion altogether. My hope is that that law would stand. I'm not sure if it will at eventually, but we will see and we will push for that uh, reality because what's happened with Roe over this 50, 60 years has been a terrible mistake. And I'm glad to see it's going to be changed. I'm State Representative Nancy Tate, and I'm from the Kentucky. Um, so if Roe versus Wade is overturned, we are prepared to be a pro-life state. We are pro-women, pro-child, and pro-family. I'm Kayla Kessinger. I'm the Assistant Majority Leader in the West Virginia House of Delegates. And if the Supreme Court justices rule favorably for life, then West Virginia will truly be a place where every Mountaineer is truly free, where we will be able to fulfill our state motto of Mountaineers are always free. Um, in the event that the Supreme Court justices do rule favorably, West Virginia will be a place where every woman and child will be safe from the horrors of abortion.